Hey guys, I'm Rich and welcome back to a brand new video and today guys we have a game changer in the audio realm. We're talking about amazing audio on your streamed videos, all that kind of stuff. We're talking about removing any background noise, if it's cement mixing, if it is children screaming, fan noises from your PC, chopper gunners, we can remove it guys. And it's using AI and machine learning. So let's get into it, let's show you guys what I'm talking about and enjoy. This is how to get it. I'm so I'm so excited because I'm scared of audio, looking at all these different applications, this hardware, all this kind of stuff, it's confusing. But let's get into it, we'll figure it all out together. A noob for noobs, from a noob to a noob, let's get it sorted. So I was on Twitter, Jay's Two Cent was talking about RTX voice and it kind of sprung interest because I've got an RTX graphics card and you need to have an RTX series graphics card for this to work flawlessly. There is guides to get it working with 9 series, 10 series, all that kind of stuff, but we're talking specifically about the RTX range today because I'm not, I've got a good understanding of tech, but I don't want to give you guys any false information. So I'm talking about what I know, what is facts, and let's get it sorted. So I've seen a tweet saying about 2018 viewers claiming their video is stupid and no one cares about AI and deep learning. And 2020 viewers, RTX voice is the best thing ever. So RTX voice is an application that uses unused cores in your graphics cards, aka the tensor cores which are used for ray tracing. Ray tracing is only utilized in certain games at the moment, but it does lighting, uh, reflections, all that kind of stuff, and for AI and deep learning. So uh, as you would have seen with the whole RTX, they made specific, graphic, like, specific cards which are completely built for the, the deep learning section, I guess, however you want to word it. But AI and machine learning is just machines that can use algorithms, learn and grow kind of like as a human can to a certain extent. So I'm not going to give you a great explanation. If you are interested, there's lots of ways you can find about, about out about it online. But this is going to be very basic. I want to show you guys how easy it is to fix your audio and improve for your viewers because it, we all want quality content. We want to make it sound the best it can. So... RTX voice, like I said, it uses your graphics card to to improve audio on your PC. And you're thinking how? Because if noise is coming through, like through noise gates, once you've hit a certain threshold, you'll be able to hear everything. So this can remove literally, guys, I'm talking about so much stuff, and I'm gonna show you what right now. So if you go onto the link in the description or type in RTX voice, you can, well, can get to this website. RTX Voice Setup Guide. It tells you all the compatible websites that are supported at the moment 100%. We've got OBS, which is great for streaming, Streamlabs, Discord, all that kind of stuff. All of these programs you'll probably be using if you're making videos, playing games, or streaming. Zoom, Skype, that's great for the pandemic because a lot of people who are in uni, college, they're using these websites to do their lectures, all that kind of stuff. So, we can literally download the app. I already got it downloaded, so... We'll go through the installation process here. So we just double click it, we click yes, and it will start to load up, guys. So I don't know, I've been trying to sort my audio out for the last few days and it has been painful, absolutely painful. But this just makes it feel so much easier. Of course, if you're trying to separate tracks, all that kind of stuff, you still might need the use of a Go XLR Mini or voice meter if you want to delve into that. I personally don't want to, so I'm going to get a uh, Go XLR Mini as soon as stock kind of sorts out. But this is literally installed, so we can close it and it will start loading. Easy as that. Scarily easy, I guess, because, well, not scary. Everyone loves easy. We don't want to be installing, manipulating, all this kind of stuff. So as you can see here, we don't want to remove noise just yet. So to enable RTX voice, configure your settings below, then select NVIDIA RTX voice in the app's microphone slash speaker settings. So we don't need to do anything on output. It's all on input. So I've got a Yeti stereo microphone. I've got the Yeti Caster Pro bundle from uh, Blue. Probably one of the better, better audios for kind of just USB microphones. Or you might have like an AT2020, 2025, all that kind of stuff. You'll see what you've got. You'll see it in this little drop down here. So if we go on to OBS, we can see on my microphone and auxiliary, I'm talking, we can see that's moving up. We're staying in the yellow, we're not going to the red 
at the moment. I've disabled all my filters. As you can see, OBS does give you certain certain benefits. So you've got a noise gate, so you've got your threshold like I mentioned. But what all this does is until the microphone or OBS picks up minus 32 decibel or minus 29 decibel of noises, then it will come through. But a fan could be minus 40, not getting picked up now, but when you're talking, it would get picked up. You've got noise suppression, but again, this can impact the quality of your voice. NVIDIA or RTX voice is all about keeping the greatness of your voice and removing all the annoyance and all the distraction from the background. So let's do some testing. So I know, so guys, sorry about that. We just had to quickly nip somewhere, but let's do some tests with RTX voice on. So we're gonna to go to properties. We're gonna make sure it's on the old microphone so you can still hear everything. So we're gonna start typing. So just make sure that we're not gonna be opening up any programs. We'll do it in here. So you can hear my keyboard. It's not massively loud. I believe I've got like a, a K75 Corsair mother, uh, keyboard. So that's with the microphone on. If you go over to my PC, you might be able to hear fans as well. Probably not because they're not too loud at the moment. But let's go back into settings and turn or NVIDIA voice on. So because it's machine learning, all that kind of stuff, we just need to make sure that we're not... Well, it's going to take a second to adjust, I'm guessing, because it still needs to learn your voice, needs to learn what's not your voice, what is your voice, and then optimize it to sound the best. So if we're typing now... We should be able to tell that it's working fine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, of course. Like, comment, and let me know if it works. Not the fastest typer, as you can tell, but it should be blocking out all the noises while I'm talking. Of course, I would say my microphone is not even 60 centimeters away from my keyboard. So it's very impressive for it to be doing this kind of stuff. And like I said, straight away, the audio might not sound incredible because it does need to learn. As the name gives, artificial intelligence, machine learning. But guys, RTX voice is a game changer. There's lots of videos on it if you want to see it from other reputable YouTubers as well. If you want to best stream in, the best video creation, RTX Voice is a simple software, software that will do that. But guys, if you did enjoy, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.